Howdy y'all, welcome back. Sure. Ah oh, shit. Oh, gotcha. <clears throat> Out of my way. All right, now here's a cutscene where you would get rid of the MGS, so it's not really that big of a deal. Hang on, it's gonna get bumpy. It's gonna get bumpy. Damn straight. Owned. I may be old, but I'm not blind, Drebin. There we go. Hold on tight. Almost there. <clears throat> you can do it. You can do it. Don't fall off. <laughs> I'm gonna beat your ass when I get back in. Right now, I'm gonna beat your ass. Just saying that I'm calling me old man and shit. Ugh. Oh, that was pretty crazy, huh? And it's not the end of it. There's like a little bit more we gotta play through, but... Ah! This is one of the more cooler cutscenes that uh, Metal Gear Solid 4 is uh, recognized for. Oh my god, you seriously couldn't just ram it right through. Good job. Come on, Naomi. Stay with me. Wow. Up you go. <sighs> this is such a weird cutscene. Like the beginning of it's like what? And the rest of it's like, oh, this is awesome. <laughs> you okay? Wow. Shit. Oh yeah. <clears throat> Riding. Riding is back, fools. And this time he's the ninja of the game. First it was Gray Fox. Then it was Olga. And now it's Raiden. Amazing stuff. Go on, get out of here. <laughs> okay. <Yes. laughs> okay. Yeah, what if this was like a Coke commercial? That would be hilarious. Even at the face of death. There you go. This reminds me of uh, Snake's Nightmare in Metal Gear Solid 3 right here. Almost. The whole blood everywhere and crap. He's just standing there with one leg. Ew. Awesome.
I'm sorry if I'm not like saying much of anything. This is just an amazing scene. I just gotta like. Shit. Well, I know one thing. None of you, none of you can make fun of him anymore. It's, no, not after that performance. That was just... Snake. It's my turn to protect you. Even after he ran around in the nude, that is just, that makes up for everything. For me, that just... Oh, God. Well, at least nobody can find our uh, favorite gun launcher. I guess that's a good thing. Snake, I'm setting the chopper down at the market square. Hurry! Naomi, go on ahead. Cool. Now this is the part where we gotta um pretty much get past everybody, and I have a way of uh, getting rid of these gecko. A little prelude to uh, Act Four of this game, but I will be uh, saving. All right. Um. <laughs> sorry, I almost forgot to edit that out. Wow. <clears throat> So, uh, basically all you gotta do is whip out this gun right here, called the rail gun. Of course, if you're playing through this the first time, you won't be able to get this gun. But this is pretty much like a one-shot uh, kill for these guys right here. Oh, and by the way, the rail gun is the same gun uh, Fortune used in Metal Gear Solid 2, so it's the same exact gun. And you get it by defeating a certain boss later in the game. And it's really handy, as you can tell. Oh yeah. Oh god. Run, Snake! Run! Alright, easy enough. <clears throat> and there we go. Uh, this is pretty much Act 2 for you right here. It's all done. So, yeah. And this will be, like, the most action you'll ever see. Like, a lot of it is just going back to, like, the older games and crap like that. I'm a little busy right Cutscenes. It's really good, though. Okay, now, Otacon, you better hit on that shit. I'm sorry, I'm just gonna say that. Don't forget the mark two. Oh. Naomi, take care of this. Alright guys, I'll see you for the next episode. Get us out of here.